EA Sports. It's in the game. Welcome to Daily Content. I'm your host, John Sims. Today we have a brand new uh, thing that's released with these SBCs, the 82 Plus Pass, Pace, and Dribble Guarantee. If you guys are brand new to this, uh, make sure you guys stick around for all the juicy content because we talk about more than just this. We talk about the market. We kind of talk about some type of gameplay here and there. And I will be starting a squads uh, building uh, uh, playlist. Once we hit partner, guys, we are about uh, 1,800 hours away from partner. So if you guys would like to drop a lurk on the playlist, that means a lot. If you're doing nothing, that takes us to another level, and that will be able to do some squad reviews for you guys going forward. Uh, that's what's that's my gift to you guys once we hit that. that. Uh, anyways, we're going to hop into 82 plus pass, dribble, and pace. Uh, 6.6, 3, and about 4. So they're roughly about the same price. Passing is just a little bit higher. So let's check out. Uh, basically, this is what you're going to get with the passing. You're going to get uh, Dybala, Insigne, Manyan, Luis Alberto, Ilicic, Arthur, yada, yada, yada. And then you're going to get the La Liga Santander uh, with the dribbling. So you got a lot more players to make your coins back on the Santander. So right now, I really like the dribbling, 82 plus dribbling uh, for me. Personally, I like this one. And then we have the Bundesliga, which you're going to get of several, 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 several 82 plus in the pacing category uh, not too bad over here as well and so you're gonna get one two three four five six players uh, maybe seven eight players that are gonna essentially get close to making your coins back but if you're looking for good fodder I'd probably be rocking the dribbling one that one seems like to do the most for me but guys this is why you come here because I break that stuff down I do it analytically I apologize if uh, we come in a little bit late later than usual today still underneath an hour I had to take care of some business but now let's just pop into this market real quick. So um, I'm really keeping a close eye on this Eder, Eder Militao. I really think he's going to drop quite a bit. As you guys know, we're thinking that a preview pack, 100K preview pack was coming out. Um, I have seen speculation that that was just a flaw in the actual system. They did see the code, but it was pre-registered code that uh, from the previous one. Now, players like 85 Vinny, we're trying to keep an eye on him. He's staying and he's kind of going up right now. And so... Uh, we might see this kind of this market recovery just a hair um, for players like this. They may start to go up a little bit, but Black Friday will have the best of the team of the week. And so if you are going to buy players that are the best of the team of the week, I highly recommend selling them in the next five days uh, prior to the Black Friday, true Black Friday market crash. The pre-crash has already occurred. And so now we're going to see a slight increase in the, in the value, and then it's going to start crashing again. But guys like Mindy, like these uh, high-rated players, you're going to see them kind of recover just maybe a hair. It looks like they're actually dropping. And so this is why we, guys, this is why we continuously recommend, uh, we continue to watch this. Generally, the case, guys, low-rated gold rares are going to drop. For players, you might see a small recovery on these. Uh, it doesn't look like it's a good sign right now. So this is where we register and watch the market, 65K. It looks like it's very consistent with the Hakimi. If we go over to like Kimpembe, maybe Conte, checking the market and seeing how this price, these prices fluctuate. And so it looks like Conte took a dip up and then a drop back, right? And so we may or may not see that one uh, come back up. Messi, I think, will most likely flat. Yep, and he's flatlined right there. Um, and so we're seeing this kind of resistance right now. We're in like a dead period. So if it comes Wednesday and we see a Team 2 promo come out, or we see another promo come out until Black Friday, expect prices to go down. Now, if you see it to start to rise, if you don't see that, you will see a rise in the market uh, just until we get closer to that Black Friday, just because less we won't have as much supply with kind of like a dead week um, when it comes to just where the market's going to be. And so what I would be trading on today, though, guys, if you guys are in those 50K investors, those 50K players, I'd be going into this 82 plus dribble guarantee and I would be going and looking at these requirements. Now we've got two rares and then a min chemistry of 15. So basically any gold common card in the market is really going to be decent, especially these center backs and all this type of stuff. Now, uh, player, these, any, any player is really going to do fine. 15, 15 men chemistry, easy coins, guys. Uh, easy fodder. I highly recommend doing that and at least getting like the Testagen or whatnot. But that's my take on that. Now, I'm not 100% sure if the if Testagen's the goalkeepers actually match. I know that works in the database. I I don't I can't guarantee that you're actually going to get 82 plus dribble just because 
uh, the stats may not register properly. But okay, now we're gonna pop into EA Sports. It's in the we're game. We're gonna pop into actually my uh, my investments, guys. I am heavy invested into these 84 team of the weeks if you want to know why check out my video yesterday uh I'm, I'm not gonna lie guys every single day there's good content and you can still continue to trade on anything that's come out but i'm gonna be i'm not gonna lie to you guys those 82 plus dribbles you're gonna see a huge bull in demand you're gonna see a lot of people do those because there's three different packs you're gonna probably have somebody do three in almost every and then they're gonna go spend some coins I'm heavy invested right now into some of this, guys. Uh, we got rank one rewards, but look at this. We're flipping, we're flipping some of these. We're flipping some of these already. Uh, early, early traders are just trying to cash in. If you guys watch my videos, you'll know that um, everything that we buy is almost no risk investments. Um, it's it's so easy. Like, look at this, uh, guys. I picked up a Donnarumma. Where is that Donnarumma? I picked him up for like 40k. I picked him up for 40k. If you want to know why I picked him up for 40k, it's because I bought him on like day one and I knew his price was going to be flying high. And so we were able to play with Donnarumma under value for three months. All right, guys, I've been picking up Alvarez on 10 250. Look at that. That's min bid. Bid on this guy. I'm telling you guys, there's a big supply there. You're going to get a return. Watch my video on yesterday about why I'm investing in these 81, 84 team of the weeks. Guys, I want to buy the Edder Militao card. I'm the FGS qualified. I want to build this squad. The thing about it is my squad needs two more spots. It needs Militao and then Ginola, and then I'm set until probably team of the season. But here's the thing. Here's why I, 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 I th this is why I'm invested instead of, bought, instead of buying Militao. I invested everything. I invested everything I have outside of my current club. And the reason why is, guys, I just expect the market to continuously go down for the rest of the season. From here on out, don't really expect a bull in demand. Now, there might be a small, you know, some players, they go up or down, but 99% of the market is going to continue to drop. This is my consensus over the past several years, especially this season. It's been horrible when it comes to retaining value. Now, but here's the thing. Now, listen, 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 listen. If the market's going to continue to crash, it will just continue to crash. You can either choose to sell your team every single day or sell your team when you know you're not going to play for several days. That is my number one tip. And guys, this is why you subscribe. This is why you stick around. You sell your team when you know you're not going to play for a while. If you're going to play the next day, maybe it goes down. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it goes up. It, it's, it's one of those things that it's sometimes if you time it right, sometimes you don't. Generally, the case is every time you sell, well, if you sell, you're going to lose 5% regardless, right? And so if you expect the market to go down more than 5% over the fluctuation of, the, of a 24 hour period, then don't, then, you know, less than 20 than 5% don't sell, just hold on to it. But if you expect it to go down and it's been three, four days before you play, then guess what I would do? I would just hold on to your squad. Okay. Uh, or I would sell your squad. Excuse me. If it's, if, if you're not going to play for a week, just sell your squad. Me personally, my best advice to you right now is go ahead and sell your squad during this bull demand. Okay. There's going to be a small bull demand these two weeks it's going to be worth it to sell your team now and then rebuy like a week after a black friday i'm not no don't buy necessarily during black friday because a lot of reinvestors are might be investing during black friday you might be able to get some really good deals on high rate med players on black friday so if you see a really good deal you'll see a really good deal buy it okay buy it because there's gonna be a heavy supply but generally the case the market goes it kind of steadies up and then during black friday it goes down right and then it recovers heavy and then for a few days it continues to stay flat and then it drops like massive and so the main thing is i would be liquid going into black friday and then potentially watching the market after those next two weeks now there's a lot of cards out there that are going to be good enough to play with nowadays that the market's starting to come down enough like guys like marcus lorente if you have two three four million coins guys like marcus lorente ooh, let's check this out. i'm going to show you guys like guys like Marcus Lorente, he was trading over 150k, 200k when he first dropped in the market, right? Look at that, 150, 170, almost uh, you know 160k. He's down to 50k. You know what I mean? Buy players like this. Play play with like a Marcus Lorente. If if you're playing with like a two million coin squad right now, build a squad like this. Build a squad like this. I'm not kidding. Just go in and just find a guy like Marcus Lorente. Guys like you know even Mindy or even like a Jordi Alba. Get a strong link there. Uh, you know, th then you can get play with like a basic card if you have like a, you know, Edder Militao, C 
Kunde type of players. Now, I, 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 when I'm playing this game, guys, I fear more the man, the player that has a squad like this. I, I, I honestly think goalkeepers are a good investment right now, so they're not bad. Um, even like David, David Alaba or Kunde, uh, you play with something like this. You guys are going, this is going to be a decent squad to play with. Like, I'm building it just out of just how quick I'm building this. Um, I can tell you that this is going to be a decent squad. Even Dejong or Lorente or, or Valverde. Um, then you come over here, Dembele's 8,000 coins. We all know that that's ridiculous. Now, you come over here, then you can, you know, a lot of people already have this Fakir card. So, if you had the Fakir card, you can drop him in. And then, you know, you're thinking about strikers. Who do you choose? Should you put at striker? Uh, you, you could go with Depay. You could go if some, so a lot of people did the Inaki Williams. It, you know, Isaac, actually this road to road to glory like Isaac or wherever it is uh, underneath 100K here. Um, it's something I would recommend playing with. And then maybe even going over here. And then now you have the choice between 83 Vinny. If you want to go that high, uh, you could stick with the basic Vinny. You could stick with like even this Ansu Fadi, this Don Juma. You, you've got several options. My cheese card, I guess, is decent. Hazard, Carrasco. Uh, I mean, there's so many options right now in this game. And so like here, here's a squad that I just built for 330k. So if you're playing with 1.5 million, if you look at this, it's just dropping, dropping, dropping. Now this card's done, right? And so you're basically at 250k. This card's pretty much going to go down a little bit. This was this one won't go down too much. This one will go down maybe 15k. This one will go down. Now nah, it's at SBC. This is at SBC. This is at SBC. This is at SBC. This is at SBC. Depreciate, depreciate, depreciate. 20k for an 86 playable card. That's pretty cheap. 90k. This one could go down, but the thing about it is, it is an upgradable card, and everybody likes this card. Don't see this one dropping. Here's here is a budget buy Black Friday squad, and so here's a squad that I would recommend. I would be seeing this in elite, and I think it covers almost all the bases. The only thing it doesn't have is a versatile player. But guys, this is why you follow me. I do stuff like this all the time, and make sure you guys like it. And if you enjoy this content, but guys, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you really appreciate you guys, if you drop a lurk on all the playlists and help us with that view time because that's all we need and then we get partner and then we're, i'm just going to be I'm, I'm trying to be flooding you guys with content flooding you with content but i will be doing squad reviews once we hit partner so if you guys if you guys are looking for squad reviews please help me out with that watch time until next time guys my name is john sims and i'm your host and we'll see you guys tomorrow